guess a question to both of you. Uh, how does it sit with you? Start with you, maybe, Tone. Yeah, yeah, it's um, been so exciting the last last couple of days and um, incredibly humbled and so proud to be in the position um, alongside Dylan and, um, yeah, I, I suppose um, it has, has taken a while to sink in the last couple of days and, um, yeah, over the next couple of days I'm sure I'll get more opportunity to do that, but, yeah, so excited, especially doing it alongside Dylan and, um, yeah, I can't wait to get stuck into it. Dylan, yourself, what, what does it mean to be to be rich on the character? Oh, it's a huge honour, especially when, you know, my career I've played under such an amazing captain in Trent and, and you know, being able to see firsthand his growth and the change he's been able to implement throughout the group. So, um, Nang summed it up perfectly uh, yesterday. So there's a little bit that's a bit daunting, but there's a lot of it that's really exciting. And, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely taken a little while to sink in. And um, But, yeah, I'm feeling as, as confident as we could be, really, with, you know, great leaders like Trent and Jack still around the footy club. I think it's the best case scenario for us to continue to learn and develop with those great leaders still here. It seems like a, an interesting dynamic. Have you sort of spoken to each other about what your strengths and weaknesses are and how do you think you'll, you'll lead this footy club? Yeah, I suppose we don't really know yet, but um, I think we really complement each other really well and, and we get along with each other really well and uh, both on and off the field. And, yeah, I look forward to it. I think um, I've definitely got areas where... I can really grow and to be supported by Dylan, I, I'm really, um, yeah, really grateful for that. Just Dylan, so your leadership style, I mean, are you sort of a more uh, a lead with actions type of guy or, or do you think you'll, uh, you know, do, do the verbal stuff as well or, you know, how, how would you describe your, your oh, it's, it's really broad nowadays. Like, I think the, the, the thing I've learned from Trent is that, you know, leadership comes in, in so many different forms, but the number one thing I think you have to be is just true to who you are. And, and Nick and I, as you said, we've got, a lot of strengths and, and certainly some weaknesses each, but I feel like doing it as a, as a couple, as, a, as two of us, <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, I, I feel so much more comfortable going into the challenge with, with him by my side and certainly with the support of Trent and the playing group. Have you had a chat with Trent as yet, either of you, <clears throat> together about what it means to be a captain of this place? Look, not as yet, I don't think. Like he's been a big part of the whole process and it couldn't have been more thorough. Um, it's, it's literally taken... You know, since the beginning of pre-season, really, to get to this point. So um, it was the whole process was headed by Shane McCurry, and, and it, it honestly has probably it's been a little bit slow, but in some ways it's really filled us with confidence that, you know, the, the decision that was made was, was the right call. And, um, yeah, we're, we're super excited and obviously incredibly humbled by that decision. And, um, yeah, I think Trent's going to be a huge part of our leadership development for the next, you know, 12 months and then, and then going forward after that. So, um yeah, really excited by the challenge, but also, yeah, really looking forward to getting stuck into it. Can you give us a sense, Toby, about, as Dylan mentioned, the process? I think it was described as multifaceted in the, um, in the club's release about it, and it's obviously been quite lengthy. What did it involve? Um, yeah, so we sat down as a leadership group at the start of pre-season, which sent, it feels like a long time ago now. And, um, yeah, just really um, thinking about what we want from our captains and uh, both on and off the field and what that looks like and... Um, yeah, really getting engaged from the players and the, the footy club on um, yeah, what characteristics we want our captains to have on and off the field and yeah, letting, I suppose, people have a say on who they think can do that. Um, yeah, as we said, we're in no rush to get a decision. It's a really lengthy, drawn-out process that fills us with a lot of confidence now. So have you, have you always aspired to be a captain? And for example, when you arrived ahead of 2017, did you see yourself being a captain of this club? <laughs> no, not at all, no. Nah. Um, I suppose I really just strive to be a good teammate um, and being able to play at such a great footy club the last five years and even before that at Sydney um, it's fueled me a lot, of, a lot of confidence. I've played under a lot of great leaders and um, been involved in some pretty good footy sides over my career now. So um, no, not something I aspired to do, but so grateful and really excited at the moment. Dylan, have you had a chance to talk to your brother yet? Obviously he's, he's lived what you're about to live. Have you had a chance to talk about being a captain? No, I haven't yet. We, I told my wife on Saturday, and that was it. And out of family and friends and everything, like we weren't, we weren't allowed to tell anyone until you guys found out. So I sent a quick text to mum and dad, but yeah, I haven't had a chance to talk to Jack. But oh, look, he's been someone I've looked up to through, throughout my whole career, so I'll definitely touch base with him. Through you know, the process, was it that you decided that you wanted two captains, or that you had a vote and you couldn't split the two of you, so you said you both get it? It was a really diverse. Um, group of preferences really amongst the leaders and coaches about what the leadership model looked like and and um, you know I think the ideal scenario um, you sort of have to start with the people and and then work it out from there and I think that's what 
we were um, really trying to work out is that there were so many good leaders that really could have have led the group um, and done a really good job of it. And then there's so many supporting leaders that equally, um, you know, were right up there. And um, so yeah, I think look, it was it was a it was a long process, and and I think we've arrived at this spot through the eliminating of all other options really and um and yeah i think that we collaborated really well with players and other coaches as well um to find out that this was the best model for us and um you know shortly after we'll, we'll later on in the week i think we'll, we'll talk about what our leadership group looks like from there who flips the coin first <laughs> i'm not sure <laughs> yeah well um yeah i have to decide how that goes i suppose but um yeah we'll see how we go you mentioned then dylan that the, the beauty of a place like this is that there were so many candidates and yeah even from us, every second week there was a different name being thrown out. I suppose maybe one for both of you, or maybe one for you, Toby, given you spoke before about you maybe didn't have these aspirations. At what point during this process did you think, oh, it might actually be me here? <laughs> Yeah, it's a difficult one. I think I've I've always said um, I'd be more than happy to do it if I was backed by by the footy club. And um, yeah, I, I really just I was so confident that we had so many great leaders that so many people could have done it. But yeah, like I said I've always put my hand up and said I'd do it if I was backed. And um, I'm just very humbled and very grateful to be in this position. Have you had time to process probably both of you? Um, I guess the enormity of it, like they're not only captaining an AFL club, but one of the biggest in town, and there's a little bit of pressure that comes with it, isn't there? Yeah, probably not really is the short answer because, look, I think in some ways our role and our, you know, uh, what we do around the club and how we behave around the club really isn't going to change a great deal, but there is extra commitment. So I suppose the short answer is is no, I feel like I'm going to be me and, and that's really important to me and my leadership is that I'm I'm authentic and I'm the same leader that I have been, but um, you're definitely right. There is more responsibility um, that we're going to have to grow into, um, but I think it just... You know, I look to my right and it just fills me with confidence that we're doing it together rather than uh, riding solo. I think it'll be a bit more daunting. In terms of um, on, on field <coughs> stuff, I mean, obviously you just won you last year, you know, a number of reasons for that. How do you feel your place now and, and do you still feel like you can challenge this year again and, and is it his top four, I guess, is that the aspiration again for the Tigers that it's been for the last five years? Yeah, we've had a great pre-season. A lot of um, great young kids have come into the footy club. Um, largely, a lot of the group's done a large um, amount of the work. So yeah, we're incredibly fit. Um, training's been to a great level. Um, in terms of what the um, outcome looks like at the end of the year, I'm not too sure. I think we're more focused on playing our brand of footy, starting this week with the Intra Club and leading into some competitive practice games. But yeah, I think everyone's just really excited to, and we're no different, to get stuck into the, the season. It's been touched on before, but why do you think you have been picked as captains? So... Um, yeah, I'm not too sure. I think, um, as I said before, I really strive to be a great teammate, um, really selfless, um, and I, I really pride myself on building great relationships with my teammates and staff. So, yeah, I'm not too sure um, if that answers your question, but I'll just try and be me, and I can't be anyone else. And as Meg Grimes just spoke about, um, Trent's been an amazing captain and massive shoes to fill, but um, it has to be us through this process. As, cap as captains, you'll be asked quite often by us about a variety of issues. Today's um, involves uh, one of your teammates backflipping off a uh, in Blair Gary, I believe, and a bit of criticism that might have been handed from over the border. Did yeah. You, uh, were you uh, comfortable seeing Sydney staff uh, backflip? Well, we're in um, we're in Bright for pre-season camp a couple of weeks ago, and I actually saw the chief jumping into a rock pool in his speedo, so I think I'd prefer to see Stacky doing a backflip than, <laughs> than the chief. Look, I, I think it's, we encourage all players to live a life outside footy and, and certainly jumping into a rock pool I don't think was, uh, was in breach of any of our, our footy codes, but we haven't exactly decided on what the team rules are going to be yet, so maybe that'll be on me. <laughs> no. You've been around, you know, like you are the captain now, I know you've been a leader previously, but do you tune a message and reinforce that? Oh, look, it, actually, we we're, were at the club when we are here today when it sort of came out, and yeah, I, I think it was a bit of an, an on-issue in our eyes, really. Um, you know, Tom Lynch was there with him and, and, uh, and was, was, was swimming in the same rock pool, and all of a sudden it's a Sydney stack issue. So, look, I think it's, yeah, not really much to talk about there. I know you, you, you haven't announced the leadership group as a whole yet. Um, yep. Where does Dusty sit in that? I mean, it, as Lauren sort of said before, there are a number of, name, number of names popped up. Um, do, do, do you, do, would you like him to, uh, as captain's, have an actual uh, leadership title next to his name? Do you need that? Uh, I mean, he does so much behind the scenes, but 
uh, as captains, would you like to see Dusty as a deputy, maybe, or part of the, the leadership group? Yeah, there's so many players um, that are great leaders in their own right. Um, yeah, whether, and Dusty's no different, whether he has a title or not, I'm not too sure, but he does need a title to, to lead. You watch him every weekend and go about his business. He's um, yeah, amazing the way he leads from the front. Um, he has probably no player in the competition that has more impact on his teammates than Dustin, I think. Is it, uh, I mean, he was obviously down for so much of last year, given what happened to him, he's kicking the last back end. Is it, as he sort of regained that spark from you guys, he looks like he's moving really well on the track? Yeah, yeah he is. Yeah. Yeah, he's been, he's been training the house now, actually, as you'd expect. It's great to see him, um, yeah, just back training again. Um, yeah, we definitely missed him in the back end of last year, and I'm sure he'll be looking forward to the season. First cup off the rank now, then Dylan. Maybe you shot the text to mum and dad. Do you leave this room and are they the first people you ring? Um, no, I'm going straight into weights after this. Um, <laughs> no rest. Oh, look, I think like uh, the next the next few days, Nank and I are going to spend quite a bit of time together talking about what the um, what the rest of the leadership group looks like and what that model is. So um, yeah, along with the with some key coaches and, and things like that, Dimmer and, and Tim Livingston and Blair. Um, that's probably the first thing to kind of get organised um, and then yeah from there we've got a first competitive match this weekend so straight into the game prep from there so yeah look I think it's going to this it already has been really as Nate said earlier it's a bit, a bit of a whirlwind but um, yeah really excited about it. Is it nice to not have too long? Like I know other clubs are keen to get this stuff sorted early on but yeah. as you said there's sort of no time you just get into it. Yeah I suppose in some ways it is yeah the best thing to do is just get out there and play footy which is what we love doing but um, yeah, I think that the fact that the, the process is kind of, you know, bit wrapped up right before games are starting, I think suits us really well. So, yeah, we're, we're feeling pretty good about it. Hey, just one last one, Toby. I mean, you're clearly humble and you can see it like, over your face, like how excited you are. But are you, like, is there a genuine sense of surprise? Like, do you feel surprised to be sitting here? Um, yeah, a little bit. And yes and no. I think, um, yeah, I'm really confident um, in, in my relationships, as I said before. and. Um, my role and the, and the way I play go about my footy, but yeah, it is a little bit surprising. And um, but in saying that, there's a, there's no no reason for me not to think I can can do the job, and I'm really excited to attack it and just give it everything I've got. And it probably makes some mistakes alongside Dylan, but um, yeah, do it doing my being myself. Um, yeah, I'm really confident I can do that.